Hello Star Wars Battlefront 3 gamers. In today's video we're going to show you how to get past the Intel crashing error. If you're using an Intel chipset, yes you want to game on that Intel chipset. You get to the menu, you hit enter, you mash the buttons and nothing happens. Well I've listened to the feedback from my two other solving videos here and I've got a solution for you. Hopefully this will work for mostly everyone. Now I'm using a laptop that has both a 770 GTXM and an integrated Intel HD 4600. So you can switch these from my NVIDIA control panel here. Now some people who have a better chipset are getting stuck with the integrated and they get stuck at that menu. They simply click this and they get past it by applying it here in the control panel. But if you just have integrated graphics on your device, on your computer, well we can get you past that too because I know you're stuck. I've been listening to your feedback. So on my laptop I'm applying the integrated graphics here and I'll just launch it up here and I'll show you that I can't launch it until I apply the fix. I'll also go over some of the other information as well. So let's launch up the game here. There's the dreaded message, it doesn't matter what your drivers are, it does not go away. Here we are in the main menu, you can find nothing happens when you press enter or the mouse. So this is the problem Intel users are having, so hit alt tab to get out of there and force close it. Big surprise, Battlefield Battlefront has stopped working. Okay, here's my little workaround. Now this worked for me on Windows 1064 with my HD 4600. Now go to the start menu and search speech because we're actually going to turn on Windows speech recognition. I know that sounds a little funny, but this worked. So the first time you open this, you actually have to go through a little menu system and basically set it up. But it really doesn't matter how you set it up. You'll get to this point where it's running up here and you don't even need to click it on. You can just leave it off. And once you run the game, you can get through the menu system. So let's try it out. Here I am back on the main menu and I'm gonna hit enter. And wow, I got past it. So this is an unusual little workaround, but it works. And once you get it going, you can just minimize it like that and everything will continue to work and you can play the game now. So big thumbs up if this works for you. Might not work for everyone. Now I'll put a little gameplay at the end of the video. We're gonna do some other fixes right now. Now moving on, I know some people were saying, well, I have an AMD chipset. What do I do about that? Well, I have a Radeon 5850 and a desktop and here's the solution I worked on for that. So right click on the game icon in the My Games for Origin and go to Game Properties. In the command line arguments, type in minus no vid space, minus no border space, minus windowed, and put a little check beside disable origin in game for this game and click OK. Now this has worked for a number of people as well, but we'll be going over a few more fixes just in case. Now one more I've heard people posting about is changing the sound option. So if you go to your little uh, sound icon here and go back to playback devices, find your device and go to properties, go to advanced, and set it to 16-bit. People were saying 16-bit worked better depending on what your device was. Now this device I'm using for the audio right now is 16-bit, uh, but my regular uh, Realtek speakers aren't. So we can go to those, go to advanced, and change it from 24-bit to 16-bit, and some people were saying that worked for them to get it launching, might not work for everyone, and click apply. You can try that one out as well if you're still having issues. Now moving on, now I found some interesting posts about fixing problems. A lot of people have said simply reinstall Origin, make sure you have the latest drivers, but here's kind of a checklist. Look in the video's description. I've got a lot of stuff kind of listed for you to check out. You know, Windows 7, make sure you have the latest service pack and you know, everything like that. Now a few that stand out is if you have Windows 8 or Windows 8.1, you wanna to try to disabling this option. Now you may have to go into the BIOS to do that. I'm not gonna go over it too complicated but there's a lot of a full step-by-step -step guides so just google that right there okay if you've got windows 8 or 8.1 and a couple more other options to check out in other threads but i think i've gone through most of it now if you can't run it your computer might not be up to par it's recommended to have eight gigs but it'll probably run on a four gig machine anyways please subscribe and like the video leave comments in the description and i'll keep posting about fixes as i find them thanks for watching everybody now I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay running on my HD 4600 because I thought that was kind of funny that I could even run it on there at all. Let's try it out. <laughs> 